Hello everybody, if you haven't seen Tomorrow before or you haven't watched in a very long time, welcome. I'm Ryan and I've been in our Tomorrow Space News show since the start of 2020, primarily reporting on SpaceX but also a range of other topics since I took up the reins of being the main host last summer. If you're one of our lovely subscribers or Tomorrow Citizens, you'll know that this is not scheduled programming and that is because I'm asking for your help and support to assist in covering some costs to head out to the Space Coast this summer to report on the launch of Psyche live from Florida on a Falcon Heavy. Psyche is heading to the asteroid named Psyche, which is very rich in metal. It'll be the first mission of its kind and due to the way that physics works, there will only be a two week window in August for the mission to launch, which makes it the perfect opportunity for me to fly over to the US and bring you the best coverage possible of this mission, which is heading to the only place we know in our solar system where the core of a planet could actually be analysed. It's believed that because of its metallic structure, Psyche was actually a planet that was hit by an asteroid and had its crust layers knocked off. That theory is also backed up by the fact that Psyche orbits the Sun on its side. If you want to learn more about what Psyche is all about, then go and check out Orbit 12.21 of the live show, linked in the description where Jade and Athena interviewed Lindy Elkins Stanton, the principal investigator of the Psyche mission. If that's all you need to hear, the link to contribute to this journey is in the description and on your screen now, but more data is coming right up. For this trip, I'm going to be very transparent on the finance side so you know how your money is being spent. Every purchase made using the money raised will be published publicly. All the money raised is going to three main places, which are transportation, accommodation, and equipment. The former two are obviously the most important, but if there is any money left over from the contributions, then it will be invested in upgrading the video and audio equipment to improve the quality of the coverage of this exciting and historic mission. Flights will cost approximately 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. Transport to the airport will cost approximately 150 to 220 pounds. Accommodation will cost about 1,600 to 2,100. And the car rental will cost about 1,300 to 1,850. Rocket launches don't always go to plan, it's just in their nature, so if Psyche is scrubbed past my return date home whilst I am in Florida, then I obviously, very sadly, wouldn't be able to bring you the coverage, but that would only be in a worst case scenario if something detrimental goes wrong, meaning that the launch can't commence. Falcon Heavy does have a pretty good track record though, so that is very unlikely to happen. If something happens to cause a delay before the trip, then all the purchases made that can be refunded will be, and the money will be put aside to a future trip to cover another launch. What that would be? I don't know yet, but I promise the money raised will not be wasted and it will go to coverage of an equally exciting mission in the future. Also, everybody who contributes publicly, no matter how large or little, will be credited in all of the content that they make possible, similar to the way we thank our Tomorrow Citizens at the end of every show. Trust me, it will be a fair chunk of content being produced, not just to do with Psyche. If there's any other launches happening whilst I'm out there, I'll cover them as well. I think I've covered the most important parts, but if you want more information, then check out the campaign linked in the description. Make sure to read over GoFundMe's terms and conditions, also linked below, or just message me on Twitter at DeepodolphinPro or on Discord, Deepodolphin hashtag 6164. I'd really appreciate it if you can invest in this content with however much you deem appropriate. Thank you very much if you do, and for now, thanks for watching, and goodbye. I think that will do for the thumbnail.